questions, we've got answers. We have them to answer them. Jeffrey Levine from Buckingham Wealth Partners. Jeffrey, welcome back to another episode of Ask the Hammer. Good day, sir. Good day to you, my friend. I've got a question in my inbox. goes like this. Can I contribute to my Roth 401k regardless of my income, even though that's not the case with a Roth IRA? You know, Bob, we get these questions sometimes and we go on forever and ever on the answers. And, uh, you know, we take, we say, oh, yeah, let's try to keep it to two minutes. And we end up with five or six or seven or sometimes more. Uh, I'm going to go for a one word answer here. Yes. <laughs> That's it. Um, yes, you can. Sure. Uh, all right. Well, it's a head scratcher to me that in one case, there is no income um, limits, but in the other, there is. It is that is exactly right. And there are income limits still for direct contributions to uh, to Roth IRA. So at, at the highest level, you could think of it as maybe there are four different ways to get money into Roth accounts. You can contribute to a Roth IRA. You can convert money to a Roth IRA. You can contribute to a Roth plan account like a uh, a four hundred one k or a Roth four hundred three b or a governmental Roth four fifty seven b plan or the thrift savings plan Roth. Right, those all have Roth options at the plan level. Or you could do what's called an in plan conversion. That is plan specific. But if your plan allows, you can convert essentially within the plan. And so those four options exist to get money into a Roth account. Only one of them, the contribution to a Roth IRA, has an income limit. Other than that, converting, even from a traditional IRA to a Roth IRA, has no income limit. Uh, contributing directly in salary deferrals, no income limit. And doing in-plan conversions on Roths, no income limit. So there's pretty much always a way to get money into the Roth if you want to. The question just is, are you willing to take the steps necessary to do it? Well, this is one of those rare cases where, like you, um, that my I don't have a follow-up question. So I think you answered the reader's question and then some. Well, we love that. And uh, if you've got a question for us, whether we can answer it in one word, a hundred words, or a thousand words, let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Email us at askthehammer at buckinghamgroup.com. Again, that's askthehammer at buckinghamgroup.com. Bob and I look forward to seeing your questions in our inbox real soon.